Well, thank you for joining us. We're here at How Do You Score? And we have one lovely lady named... Mel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Mel. And Mel is here to interview these three young contestants. We have... Well, my name is Jay. You know, I'm a poet. All I do is just make the ladies feel real sweet and special. I'm sure he does. And we also have contestant number two. My name is Ten, and I'm a DJ. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he mixes it up. <laughs> and we have... I'm Trey, and... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Yeah, uh, next. We're going to find out a little bit about Mel. So, Mel, tell us a little about yourself. I am in high school, and I work at a clothing store after school, and I'm a decent student, probably. Well, that's enough procrastinating. Let's yeah. get right into it. So, Mel, you're going to ask a couple of questions from the guys, and they'll respond, and in the end, you'll decide who you like the most. My first question would be, what is your ideal date? Well, my ideal date is to go to a nice little coffee house, maybe. You know, I read a little poetry, just make it feel special, give her a flower. You know, Tested. I'll buy the whole meal. Number two. Uh, my ideal date would be probably meet her, pick up in a party, and uh, just go back to my house, play video games. Sounds fun. <laughs> Testing number three. My type of date, uh, pick up from the house, take them to some nice restaurant. Well, that home. sounds like a great time. Next question, Mel. And on this date, if I got to go out to eat, number two, would you pay for the meal? Well, if you were lucky enough to get to eat while you went on a date, I think it would be pushing it to ask me to pay for it. So let's talk about cheating. How would you feel? If, you, if I found out you was cheating on me, I would feel real hurt and depressed. I'd probably start crying, just write a whole bunch of angry poems. Like, why would you do that to me? I thought we had something special between us. Well, you know, I'm a DJ. I mix more than one record at a time. I mix it up with the ladies more than one lady at a time, so it's not going to phase me. Do what you do, sweetheart. If you cheated on me, I'll ask you, why would you do this to me? <laughs> I thought we had something. <laughs> now, we're going to give the contestants some time to question the lovely Mel. What would you do if I had annoying parents? Who said we had to beat your parents? <laughs> How Damn do you all feel about marriage? I, I, I'm in high school. <laughs> so I'm in the club doing my little mixed thing. Got three or little four nice young ladies with me. How would you feel about that? Touch them, I'll kill you. <laughs> what are you here looking for, guys on a dating show? Sometimes you have to look elsewhere to find love in the world. Even though there's a lot of people, it's still sometimes hard to find. So when you choose me, why do you think I should go on a date with you? You're in this game show to date me. I think the real prize is, you know, you choose me, so. <laughs> yeah, you're already out the running. The runners must not be looking too good, man. We're nearing the end of our show, so we're going to give all the contestants their last and final arguments to Mel, as in to why she should be dating them. Mel, girl, all I can say is that I just need somebody. You know, I'm a poet. I got all of these, I got all of these poems, and I got nobody to read them to. You know, just pick me, Mel. Hello? Let me, let me hit you back. I'm doing something. That was another story right there, so, you know, if you don't choose me, it's okay. I think you're the perfect girl to bring home to my parents. And, like, for my parents to meet you. And, um, someone in the future to marry. Well, those are some convincing arguments, and I'm pretty sure the decision is kind of difficult for Mel. So, in a second, we'll figure out exactly what Mel's decision is. So now it's time for Mel to decide. While you wait, enjoy the short film, The Approach. We're back for more How Do You Score? Okay. For contestant number one, the thing I don't like about Jay is that he is way too sensitive. 
I, I think I hear sobbing already. Contestant number two, DJ Ten, I think. Yeah. He's kind of rude. You know, and he just seems like he won't be too committed to our relationship. And contestant number three, Dan. I don't know. I don't really have a decision about him. He's kind of indecisive. But I kind of like that. So I think I'm going to go with Dan. Yeah! Must be Cree. She picked me. She picked me. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I can't be in. Hey, Mom. Yeah, I won the, the game show. Pretty cool. All right, bye. Okay, so me and Dan didn't work out. His mom kind of hates me, whatever. I don't care, I can get someone else. So the date. He took me to this really nasty park. He tried to take us on a picnic. All right, boy can't cook. So he had to go and ask his mom for help. So yeah, I just kind of left him, no loss, no nothing, so whatever. You know, now I'm thinking back, I probably should have chose that DJ guy. Well, um, me and Mel didn't work out. My mom didn't like her. And, um, um, my mom didn't like her because she was rude. Um, and my mom thought she was a little on the wild side. I tried to make a picnic for her, but she didn't like it. She got real mad because I kind of messed up. Okay. Oh, um, I gotta get back to my mom back in the grocery store.